I'm right for him. He, we're going to walk and talk because I don't want to hold you up from your doctor. Any chance that you got any more respect for KJ now? I mean, he hung in there with you for five uh, rounds. Uh, it's not that I never had respect right. for him, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I, it's not that I didn't have respect for him or his father, but I had to do what I had to do to get this fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to talk, you know, some serious shit, and, and it may really make, may really made me look bad to do that, but I had to do what I had to do to get this fight. You know, this guy came in here and robbed me of this, uh, you know, this, this is what I do, you know what I mean? This guy comes in here real quick and throws some punches and runs for me and then, you know, acts like he's a champion. And, uh, you know, I just had to do whatever I could do to get this fight, you know. And I'm, I'm grateful that I got it and I won it and all that. So. Your brother Nate made a nice point about people making their name off of fighting Diaz brothers. How do you feel right. about that's that? All the people, that's all the people do. We're like a gatekeeper. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. They're, right now, my brother's about to fight somebody. And I know it's just like, okay, we need this guy to be somebody, so let's have him fight Nathan Diaz. You know, and I'm just tired of that, you know. I'm, I want to fight the best. I want to get paid, you know. Uh, I want to I wanna drive nice cars and all that shit, you know what I mean? Come on, look at look at my face right now, you know. I'm like, Did you get hurt, though? I mean, I know you do have cuts and stuff, but I mean, are you actually... What happens from fighting, you know? You get, you get punched. Well, congratulations. You're the great champ. Yeah, thank you.